The D3 cycle is one of the most important aspects in reptile keeping, while at the same time possibly one of the most daunting, but a good understanding of the mechanics of the process is beneficial to every reptile keeper, and that's coming up now. Vitamin D3 precursors, also known as 7-dehydrocholesterol, are naturally produced in the dermis and are converted into pre-vitamin D through conversion of UVB light, which is about 290 to 315 nanometers. When exposed to heat, the pre-vitamin D is converted into vitamin D3, which is carried in the blood plasma to the liver, where it's converted to the hormone calcidiol, also known as 25-hydroxyvitamin D3. It is then carried to the kidneys, where a part of it is converted into calcitriol, also known as 1,25-dihydroxyvitamin D3, the active metabolite in the kidneys. 25-hydroxyvitamin D3, or 25-OHD3, is the most stable metabolite and also is at the highest levels in the blood plasma and serum, making it an excellent indicator of vitamin D status. Historically, good output of UVB was difficult, leading to synthetic vitamin D3 being orally supplemented in the diet, something that is still prevalent in the hobby today. This is problematic as the exact doses required per species, sex, life stage, season or per body weight may be unknown. Supplementation of synthetic vitamin D3 given in excess can be harmful to the animal, whereas excess production of 25-hydroxyvitamin D3 under UVB cannot occur and is self-regulating due to a buildup of a reversible pool of inert metabolites in the dermis. For this reason, exposure to UVB light is a safer alternative to dietary supplementation, as the risk of hypervitaminosis is rendered redundant. 